on Ministral and Diministrov. This is the best edge models. Introducing the world's best edge models. Now we know Mistral. This is a perfect depiction of Mistral. So in 2023, we had Mistral 7 billion and that it is an amazing model. I use it regularly. Now in 2024, we have different offsprings. We have seen in different videos about Pixdrill and Mix Mistral Small. We have Mixdrill model as well. But in this video, we are going to look at Ministral 3B and Ministral 8 billion. That's amazing. In this new blog post, they have mentioned how they, they are releasing two new models and they're calling them Le Ministral 3 billion Ministral and Ministral 8 billion. Now, these models are setting a new frontier in technology, common sense, reasoning, function calling, and we are going to see it using a virtual GPU service known as Novita AI. I partnered with them. They have given me, given me some couple of instances to try on and this is an amazing service very cheap and very convenient now in order to test this ministerial 8 billion we're going to need about 24 gb of vram and novita ai just provides me that capacity to go on and test the models so we are going to test those models but let's look at how this model is and what are the different qualities of the model so this model is setting a new frontier in knowledge, common sense, reasoning, function calling and efficiency in the sub 10B category. And this is opening the door to go in the domain of edge models. It is pretty good. Now, the, both the models support up to 128K token context length. And if you are going to use VLLM for the, trying the models, that will be 32K. But again, it's very long context and it's very good for our use cases because we are using function calling and different agentic frameworks. We're dividing the work into numerous tasks and that makes it easier. Uh, even if we don't have very long context length, for example, 1 million uh, tokens, we don't need that much there are different strategies there are rags there are vision rags and other strategies that are going to make the requirement of a long context length lesser and lesser but again use cases it is it will be extensively used on on device translation internet less smart assistance local analytics and automatic robotics where there is no internet where you need a local offline solution and you you want to do uh, your things on offline you want to work on your data offline out and disconnected from the internet this is a model to go now i've worked at mistral models it's an amazing model mistral ai it's a french company it has been releasing so many different models and if you go and have a look at the model section you can see that there are amazing models. For example, Mistral Small, Mistral Large, Codestral, you know, Embed, and then we have uh, the Pixtrel as well. Those are amazing models. Now, let's move forward. Let us have a look at the benchmarks. We can see that Ministrial 3 billion and 8 billion. So Ministrial 3 billion performs pretty good and is comparable to the Google's Gemma model, Gemma 2B and Llama 3.2 3B. We can see that it excels in common sense and, and knowledge, code, math, and multilingual. In French, German, and Spanish. Again, Ministral 8 billion. It surpasses the Ministral 7B, Lama 3.18B, and all these benchmarks. And we all have always discussed in this channel, we don't trust the benchmarks, we use the model, we just have a look at the benchmarks and then we go ahead and use this model in a use case and then we decide if it is good for our case or not. But anyway, this is the accuracy and percentage of the different models. As you can see, on the right we have the Ministerial 8 billion and on the left we have on uh, this color we can see that it is ministerial 3b so this you can compare this with the 3 billion models here and on the right this you can compare with the blue one which is llama 3.18 billion and the mistral of the father or the grandfather itself that is the mistral 7 billion 
Now and again, it shows that it performs well in MMLU, Multilingual, GSM and Common Knowledge. Now again, we have the instruct version of the model where uh, the model is going to listen to your instructions and answer in the question answer format. So these, uh, you can see that the model performs well, um, bearing the while bench benchmark there the gamma is good but rest of the cases we see that ministerial beats the other models here we have function calling as well and we're going to see an example of function calling in just a second but you can see that we have this pretty good model and we have one more models in our repertoire of llms which you can use in building our use cases now uh, we have the hugging face uh, as well the hugging face page uh, of the mistral as well you can go to mistral ai of hugging face you can go to the ministerial 8 billion instruct 2410 and they're saying they're releasing two state-of-the-art new models for local intelligence on device computing and at the edge use cases now that's pretty amazing now this is released under the Mistral Research License, token length of 128 context window and interleaved sliding window attention, trained on a large proportion of multilingual and code data. It supports function calling and that is very good. It will be helpful for the agentic uh, workflows that we built. Vocabulary size of 131K uh, using the V3 Tekken tokenizer. Okay, so these are the model parameters and let's go and test this out i mean this is multilingual we have the instruct with the different uh benchmarks we have already seen let's go and test this out man so what you can do is that you can go to novita.ai i'll paste in a link so that you can join through my affiliate a link and uh i don't know please join it so you can go and log in uh, with your novita into your login novita.ai account and then, then you can go to instances here and then you can click on gpu instance now there are a host of gpus that you can use and host of templates that you can use for example we have this olama open web ui as well we have tensorflow models we have stable diffusion templates now i'm going to go to python 2.2.1 pytorch uh, format and then you can see we have different models that you can use so i'm going to go ahead and click on deploy on the rtx ada 48 gb this should be sufficient for my use case now i'm going to increase it to 200 and 200 so as to make some more space and then i'm going to click on next and then i'm going to click on deploy so doing this will start up my instance and i can go to my instance and there i can see my instances are running now i have already have loaded uh, an instance so for example i can go here and go to connect here and then you can click on uh, connect to jupyter lab so once you go to connect to jupyter labs you will be taken here you'll be taken on this fr fresh page now you can go to the python 3 here and again just start playing so for example you have uh, nvidia smi and run this you can see that we have 49 gv of vram available for you at your disposal and i don't have a local system with that much capability but using just uh, a few cents i can uh, test this out and test for my use case because anyways when you are deploying your ai models you are not going to use the local system but instead deploy it on the clouds and this is one other than another benefit of using those clouds you don't have you don't you don't need to have the thought of that i don't have a perfect system to work with you will never have a perfect system i mean a local system the commercial versions will always be good because they have higher capacity rams and high capacity vrams so it's better to have that facility of using the service with just a few cents or dollars okay if that is clear and you're satisfied with that my explanation you can go and see this now we can install this uh, mistral inference here once we install the mistral inference uh, we can go ahead that's a different library created by mistral and then you can uh, install the hugging face here and then again import the hugging phase you can have a look at this model so this is the model that we are going to download and then you're going to use the tekken json which is uh, the tekken tokenizer 
and then you can see that it is loading all the tokenizers it's loading the model which is 16 gb here save tensors and then we can use this model this is an example of a function calling so we have this function for example get current weather get the current weather this description the parameters is that uh, the location and the format is required here so the location is the name of the city example friend san francisco or ca and uh, this the format is the string or fahrenheit so the temperature you need to use and uh, infer this from the user's location so this is the question for example what's the weather like today in paris and you can see that it's the tokens it's out tokens and result and we print the result you can see that it returns a function to me so get current weather is the name of the function and the argument is paris and format is fahrenheit because paris uh, we are using fahrenheit if you ask about india it's going to return celsius okay so this is another example for example how often uh, does the letter r occurs in mistral and this is the frequency of the letter r in the word mistral is one it appears once in the word which is true so this is how we can use this model and uh, i mean I need to create a, an interesting case and present to you how, how I'm going to use this model locally uh, for right now but you can see that you can add this model to your report here or your knowledge base that you have an amazing model like this because we have been satisfied with Mistral 7 billion and now I think we are satisfied with 3 billion and 8 billion Ministral as well those are new models world's best edge models and I will see you in the next video.